Good afternoon and congratulations, graduates. I am Bruce Schultz, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. And this afternoon, I have the distinct privilege of introducing the University of Alaska Anchorage 2013 student commencement speaker, Ms. Kelsey Waldorf. Kelsey is a candidate for a Bachelor of Arts degree in Justice with minors in Political Science and Communication. She began writing her amazing story at UAA in the fall of 2008 after graduating from home school in Homer, Alaska. She has stayed on track since her first semester and has completed her degree in four years. She is a 49th State Fellows Scholar in the University Honors College and she has maintained an impressive 4.0 GPA. While it is challenging to complete the requirements of such rigorous academic programs, Kelsey's passion for leadership and thirst for knowledge has produced numerous contributions to our university. She worked as a student researcher with the Alaska State Troopers and Anchorage Police Department, as a mentor with the UAA Tapestry Program, and as a liaison for the newly formed Anchorage Middle School Public Debate Program. Kelsey was a member of UAA's internationally acclaimed Seawolf Debate Team, where she debated competitively around the globe at events such as the World University's Debating Championship in Berlin. She also earned honors as a top speaker at several national tournaments. After graduating, Kelsey plans to seek a political internship or to teach English in Vietnam before going to law school as a path to becoming a field agent for the FBI. I have no doubt she will achieve that goal. Her sharp wit, combined with her intense ambition, will continue to make UAA proud of her amazing story. I am honored to present to you Ms. Kelsey Weldorf, your 2013 student commencement speaker. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. Welcome and good afternoon, Chancellor Case, members of the Board of Regents, esteemed faculty, honored guests, friends, and family. And last, but not least, the graduating class of 2013. From what I've seen, Commencement speeches as a whole are incredibly contradictory. I could choose to say how special and wonderful and intelligent we all are because we are now college graduates. Or I could choose to say how none of us are special yet and will have to work hard to get there in the years to come. I could impart some message about having great expectations for ourselves because we can change the world. Or I could choose to say how we should have no expectations whatsoever so that we have no boundaries. But instead of choosing one of these commencement cliches, I'll try and bridge the gap a bit, or at least talk about two contradictory cliches in the spirit of commencement speeches. So congratulations, we made it. But we have a long way to go. I do not want to talk at you. I worked hard to get here today, but no harder than we all did to get here. I want to talk as you, because I am just as terrified to go out in the world, real world, just like many of you. I am going to make mistakes along the road, just like many of you. I have only the vaguest outline of a career plan combined with a lot of hopes and dreams, just like many of you. But for however nervous we are, and however many mistakes we will make, we cannot forget that we are smarter, more mature, and more prepared to deal with the challenges the world will throw at us than we were before attending this university. We have achieved a great deal, much more than the slip of paper we are handed today demonstrates. 
Graduating today shows our perseverance and our determination, our patience, our hard work, our belief that we could do it, or at least enough hope to make up for any lack of belief. Never forget what an accomplishment it is to walk across this stage today and receive a diploma from the University of Alaska Anchorage. But for all it's worth, the diploma you receive today is not a ticket for success. As members of our class, we face incredible challenges. Challenges like terrorism and global warming. Challenges like a broken economy. Challenges like trying to get a good job in the next five years, because even that could be really hard. The world we set foot into today is not a kind world. It will not hold your hand and rain success down upon you. When you fall, it will not pick you back up. But I won't leave you with that because no one wants to hear on commencement day, waiting for you outside those doors is the real world. Careful, it sucks out there. It's okay that the world is not going to rain success down upon us. We can make our own success. We can pick ourselves back up. Somehow, who knows how, we are going to make it. We all survived the disorienting experience of day one of classes at UAA. We all probably got lost, but we figured it out and we came back for day two. I remember my day one of debate practice here at UAA, which does have one of the best teams in the country. I was terrified, unprepared, and overwhelmed. And after that practice, I remember swearing that I would never go back. And somehow I've spent the past four years competing against students from the best universities around the world. I couldn't have done it without my coaches and my teammates, but I did it nonetheless. But now we have four more years of training. We can go out into the world and succeed. Some of us may even have many more than four years of training. We have been coached by the best faculty we could ask for. We have made the best friends we could hope for. We have lived through the adversity of terrible roommates and all-nighters and senioritis. We're still here waiting for the diplomas we've earned. Do not let the challenges ahead deter you from meeting them head on. Do not let the knowledge that you will make mistakes deter you from making them. In the words of Helen Keller, security is mostly a superstition. Avoiding danger is no safer in the long run than outright exposure. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. We know what hard work is. After all, we are all sitting here but your diploma is only one tool in your starter kit for success. You may find yourself without a tool or without the knowledge you need at some point, perhaps in the very near future, but that's okay. Our professors and our friends have given us all they could and the rest is up to our own very capable hands. We will learn whatever else we need to, to face the world and succeed. We may face great challenge and adversity in our future, but we have great minds and they can only grow greater. Today is day one of the rest of your life. It may be terrifying, but don't let that deter you for coming back for day two.